people love carbs. If you ever notice, overweight people, fat people, obese people tend to indulge on carbs, right? Carbs has to be the number one enemy for those who are overweight because they are choosing the wrong types of carbs, okay? Now, there's a big difference when it comes to carb nutrition. You have the good carbs, which are like um, organic grains, uh, oatmeal, um, oats, um, anything natural, so such as vegetables, rice, and fruits and stuff like that, right? Starchy uh, carbs and whatnot. But on the other hand, you got other types of carbs. The processed junk carbs, things like pastries, desserts, cookies, sodas, um, the list goes on and on and on and on, right? And french fries and stuff like that. So on a day-to-day -day basis, a lot of people who are overweight are excessively consuming these junk processed carbs, okay? They're not consuming those healthy carbs, what I mentioned earlier, the vegetables, the fruits, stuff like that. And as a consequence, by consuming these junk carbs over time you will accumulate these these nutrients into fat you will accumulate all of these calories into fat because if you are sedentary if you don't have an active lifestyle by consuming all these carbs right you have no choice but to gain weight you're not utilizing those nutrients those calories in a proper manner so as a result and as a consequence your body will accumulate into fat gain okay your body will gain fat from this right carbs are used for energy purposes carbs is what gives us energy so if you're going to work out lift some weights do something strenuous something very stressful that involves a lot of energy production right you should be consuming a lot of carbs before you go do that session so a lot of bodybuilders and weightlifter power men they focus on high carb intake before and after their workouts in order to provide their body and muscle with the strength and power that they need right and not even mentioning that carbs are important overall just for the human body all, <clears throat> all nutritional groups fats carbs proteins are very important for us to consume on a day-to-day -day basis it is not healthy to always exclude or avoid certain food groups right you should never avoid any type of food group what you should be doing is balancing and moderating your food consumption within these food groups so you don't want to over consume on carbs you don't want to over consume on proteins you, you don't want to over consume on fats you want to have a nice steady balance portion of everything now of course you can alter little um things here and there such as your protein intake and maybe altering your uh fats and your carbs to a lower degree in order to build more muscle or to fix your health or whatever the case might be that's okay but if you're severely neglecting like carbs or fats or proteins then that's a huge issue but in my opinion for those who are overweight and want a solution to lose weight is to stop eating the junky carbs okay you people need to start implementing healthier carbs within your diet okay so first off remove all dessert like um carbs so that inc includes all breads all pastries anything that is <laughs> loaded with sugar essentially what i'm trying to say anything that is loaded with sugar and that is easily that can be easily over consumed on so chips sodas french fries the list goes on and on and on and when you start implementing healthier sources of carbs and other foods um it is harder to over consume on those right it is hard to over consume on vegetables it is hard to over consume on healthy foods in general and it would nourish the body detox the body therefore making your body healthier and to uh, promote weight loss and it is easier to maintain that weight loss once you start eating healthier and start doing things to nourish your body in a healthier manner right and another tip i recommend is to increase your protein intake protein helps us to lose weight believe it or not 
because protein is very hard to digest and to assimilate meaning it takes a lot of energy to break down protein in order to um, nourish the body with all these proteins so as a result if you have a high protein intake diet you are going to be burning fat throughout the day on a day-to-day -day basis if you have a high protein intake okay diet okay you don't want to go too high in your protein, but you want to go higher than normal. Perhaps about a gram to like almost two grams of protein per pound of body weight. Um, and that will be very beneficial as in weight loss, building muscle, maintaining muscle, and to maintain uh, the weight loss process and to maintain a healthy body weight. Okay, because like I said earlier, the, the, the carbs it, it, that you are consuming, it is making you gain weight it is making you overweight in the first place and when you consume higher protein your body has no choice but to burn more calories at idle or at rest therefore you're losing weight throughout the day if you continue with this on a day-to-day -day basis okay and that's it so once you start implementing healthier foods stop eating those junky foods as much as as you can right you want to refrain from eating junk food as much as you can or slowly start tapering down your junk food consumption okay or replace it with something healthier okay you just don't want to be consuming you know sodas for breakfast lunch and dinner because that is sugar and that is carbs and that will make you gain weight right but you can um consume these junky carbs but do it in a in a reward fashion meaning if you went to work out already or at the end of the day if you haven't consume anything junky then you could reward yourself with some junk food or a can of soda or whatever you want to indulge on okay but you don't want to go neck you don't want to consume these junky foods in a in an excessive manner right um just something to you know give your taste buds that satisfaction that you are wanting and that's basically it people if you guys have any questions comments or concerns please leave it down below in the comment section or visit my website for more guides and tips and or visit my social media such as my instagram to hit me up there i respond to everyone on my social medias i respond to everyone in general and subscribe to stay tuned in